Hello everyone and welcome to my Super Metroid. Okay, sorry guys, I can't do that. Um, well, hopefully you're still watching after that. And if so, I'm pretty sure I can the make this worth your while. Obviously, I'm doing a let's play of Super Metroid. Uh, I'm guessing if you're watching this that you've played, hopefully beaten, maybe experienced a little bit of Super Metroid at some point in time in your career as a gamer. If not, you're missing out and maybe uh, this video will get you started playing one of what might be the best game of all time. In my opinion, it probably is. Um, if you did play the game and maybe you thought, well, not really my thing, or maybe you beat it and you thought, well, alright, that was fun, I'm going to go play something else. I would encourage you to watch a little bit of this Let's Play, and uh, I think you'll find that there is, there are several ways you can go through this game, and it certainly becomes a whole new experience. Um, in this Let's Play, I will be actually beating the game backwards. Uh, we're starting with Ridley, who... Um, well, I guess you always start with Ridley here in the space station at the beginning, but um, I actually won't be fighting any of the bosses in the game until I can go through Lower Norfair and beat Ridley before any of the other bosses. So, um, to do that, I will be doing at first a no boss and no mini boss run, which pretty much includes um, collecting as many items as possible without beating any of the bosses um, or the mini bosses except for the very first Terizzo who has the bombs which are necessary for anything else in the game um, but aside from that I will just be uh, using several little glitches and tricks and whatnot and um, collecting just about as much as possible before finally going to kill Ridley um, so, I hope you enjoy, and we'll get started right now at the Space Colony. Oh, and if you missed what just happened in the intro there, um, you don't know the storyline or whatnot, I would suggest you go back and watch it if you're interested. So pretty much, this is kind of like a tutorial level. Not really a whole lot going on. No enemies or anything. Um, it's kind of get used to the feel of the game. Something I thought was kind of strange about this part is that you don't have to actually shoot the doors for them to open, which I don't think is true for any other Metroid game in any other area. As far as I know. I don't know. Um, just to make the game go a little bit faster, something you want to do here is duck down here by Ridley's tail and you'll notice that you take 15 damage as opposed to a normal 5 or 10 or something else from touching his body. His tail does much more damage. So anyway, what just happened there? Ridley uh, took off with the Metroid and now we're getting out of here before the place self-destructs for whatever reason. You'll notice here that I am quickly angling my gun up and down um, and what that does is it actually moves Samus forward a pixel every time you do that. So the point of doing that is just to get yourself out of here a little bit faster, which is useful for um, doing a speed run or whatnot. You want to save out as much time as possible. I am pretty bad at getting out of here, actually. I get out with a time of 36 something. Um, it's definitely possible to get 45 or or higher left on your clock. So anyway, that's just a little bit of an intro. To tell you what's going on in this Let's Play. And next up, we will be um, collecting a few of the basic items, and we'll see what happens from there. So I hope you will join me then. Thanks.